Hello friends, welcome back to Space Engineers. I just went out to check around the neighborhood a little bit. I am hunting for some gold. I need gold and them their asteroids to do myself a little bit of good. So let me show you what I've been working on. Um, off camera, I went ahead and finished up the basic base. Let's go ahead and park down here. That sun is, the sun does move around. And for a little while there, I was getting a little nervous about where exactly it was going to be hitting on the old base. But it seems like it uh, peaked up and then peaked back down. So I think that we're okay where we're at. Um, let's go ahead and I'll show you what I've done without you guys. So I added some refineries. I've got one, two big refineries put in in place. And then I made six assemblers. I figured, you know, make one, might as well make six. This way I'm never going to be bottlenecked uh, for producing goods. And then on the back side, I'll show you how you have it all typed to get, go ahead and mind all this out. In case you guys don't know, if you guys are new to Space Engineers, I don't play it. If you right click, you basically just destroy a big chunk. It you don't, doesn't drop anything. So you don't have to worry about picking it up, which makes things a wee bit easy. Uh, so I've got it all plumbed together with conveyor belts. You can see all the assemblers connected together. And I've got uh, three arc furnaces as well. The arc furnaces are really good at crunching through uh, iron. So these guys pump out iron like a madman. And then the refineries for the big stuff. And again, it's all hooked together with conveyor tubes. All piped together. And it all goes up into this one small container right now. And I went ahead and pulled everything out of the ship. So all of the supplies are out of the ship. Um, the problem is, I realized while I was pressurizing the base, I went through all of the ice I had. So those two bars of green is all the oxygen I have. So I have to be very careful about losing any oxygen um, from the base. Otherwise, I will be in serious trouble. I do have a little bit left um, in the... You can see it's a testing. I have two accounts or two versions of the game right now. Let's get that fixed up a little bit. Uh, I've got a little bit of ice left in the ship here, and I just went out and I mined a whole parcel, a uh, full parcel, I think that's what you call that, of uranium. So I still have eight. Let's go ahead and pull all that out. So how much do I have in the ship now? I've got 22 units of potassium in the ship, which is a lot. So we'll go ahead and take this, and we'll toss it in the refineries here. I'll put uh, I did not not work. There we go. So I'll put uh, 3,600 here and I'll put 4,000 in the other refinery and together you guys will just crank out uh, just a crap load. We've got a lot of iron um, but my big things now, I need to get some gold. Uh, I need gold to make, uh, what do you call it? Um, grav components to make some gravity plates to make some, a gravity, you know, uh, a makey gravity thing, a make heavy. <laughs> I need to make a make heavy. Uh, I can pull the one out of, out of the ship, but I want to leave the one in the ship for right now. However, what I do want to do is add um, an ore detector to the ship, to this ship, so that I can more easily find myself some... Uh, there we go, an ore detector. Here. And when you're talking large ships, it's a lot of material. But I'm just going to do that for right now. I'm actually thinking I'm going to build a large... What I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this ship to be my mining ship. Now, normally I always build a small mining ship, but I figured, you know Near what? Storm inbound. Why not just go all out? So you need 25 detectors, 25 
and construction components. I have most of that stuff other than the detectors. And the detectors, I think I can make without... Oops, no. Hold on. I'm at the use of not hitting J. Uh, so we need... Like that. We needed some computers. Computer. Computer. Um, we needed some steel plates. And then we needed radio detectors. So I've grouped up um, my detector, my assemblers into two groups. There's assembly line one, assembly line two. Assembly line one has got those three and they're using conveyor and they're in cooper uh, those are in cooperative mode. Let's make that that's in cooperative mode as well. So they're all in cooperative mode. So if one thing gets an order, it'll all they'll, they'll batch produce stuff really, really quickly. So uh, I started making some gravity generators, but I was missing the gold. So let's pull that out of there. But I do need some detector components, which needs nickel, but I think I've got nickel, so I need 25. I'll do 100, because I'll do 50. Okay, good enough. Um, all right. And those guys are where? Right. Okay, should be able to make that antenna. Now I don't know, and I don't think that a, sh a large ship antenna stretches any farther than a small ship antenna. But oh, we need some motors. Just five little motors, and we'll be done. All right, and I think that even though the ship is not. Like I said, the ship is not great. But what I may do again is this is a this is a temporary mining vessel. What I'm thinking of doing is pulling the engines from here. And here. And then I'm going to put those on power. Nope, they're definitely on. This must be in the large blocks. Um, thruster? Is it called thruster? No. Yes. And these are small thrusters, but they're small thrusters on a large ship, so they're fairly large. And I think I'm going to throw them. Oops. A little closer. I'll just throw them to the side like that. You need ship, you need your uh, thrusters to fire in every direction so that you can move in every direction. And again, I do like about space engineers is when you take something apart, you get all the parts so you can put it back together again. I think I have them balanced. I don't really care too terribly much. Yeah, I missed it by one. Okay, and then I want to throw on the front. Um, let's get rid of these crazy things. All right. Fix this up. I'm sure I'll bang it up heavy enough when I go and start mining with it. So what I need are some grinders. Not grinders. I need, uh, hold on. I need, uh, what's it called? Uh, drill. And again, this is not really well thought out. I mean, this is <laughs> this is this is a slapdash kind of thing. I'll just put two on this thing. Now, normally I would 
Well, I might, I might go ahead and plumb them in, so at least the... Uh, these things will hold enough, I think. We'll double check, but I think they'll hold enough. Okay, I need 24 steel tubes. And 48 small steel tubes, okay. Okay, so I don't need girders. I need and, and then construction components. I think it said motors and steel plates. That should be close to enough. Yeah, this is not a purpose-built mining ship. <laughs> this is a, okay, I need a mining ship. Go! Kind of thing. Uh, sewer system. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell this, this place to go ahead and start pumping out. <laughs> Bunch of this stuff that I know I'm gonna need. That's just all queued up. That way, when I can come back, I can just, you know, I'll have that stuff ready to go for my exploration. I need 10 steel plate. All right, how about, um, Steel plates. Steel plates. That's why I made a bunch because I will always need steel plates. I should have grabbed. While I'm here, let's go ahead and grab some bulletproof glass, construction components, and some motors. Well, I know I think I need all of those items. For... You know what I could do? I could get a little more creative. Um, if I put a conveyor into, I think it's four. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Put the conveyor in between. And I need interior plates for that. And my energy is low. Uh, plates. Okay. Let's go ahead and fix our energy issue up here real fast. This actually worked out really well because I can show you guys exactly what I was... Oh, that's broken. I need to turn gravity back on here. Go ahead and fix ourselves up a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the chair, the pilot's chair, over. Ooh, you know what else I should do before I forget it completely? I need to put another uh, healing spot somewhere. Somewhere fairly close. Okay, so I'm going to take this chair apart. Okay, and then we're going to add a uh, chair back. 
And it is good to have it oriented the same way the ship is, otherwise things get a little wonky sometimes. But when you're flying, it actually orients you the way you are faced. That's good to go. Um, and then this medical room. Let's heal ourselves. Let's go ahead and take it apart and move it as well. Okay. And we can't hold. Oh, we did. Nope, we can't hold all of it. Don't lose the tube. Okay, so we'll come back and get the rest of those components here momentarily. And then I think we're going to go ahead and put it... For right now, we'll put it inside. Okay, close door. Pressurize on. Interior. So this is what we got going on inside. I did put a... Uh, a that thing. So I need to grab grab a uh, medical station and even though it's not oriented correctly I don't have room for it in here really We're going to just put it like that for right now. Come on. I need to get gravity fixed. gold so we can make our gravity fix so we can fix that so we can ah. inventory full Arg, I really should have uh, yeah so many things to do I need to um, put access to a uh, st storage inside from inside so I can access these things without having to uh, go back and forth. Uh, Alright. This time I'm going to dump everything I've got into that other storage unit. Come on. I hate going through doorways with the gravity off. And I still need to set up... All, oh, there's just... There's going to be a lot to set up in this game. A lot. Okay, so there should be I don't know where it rolled to. Could have probably rolled right off of the uh space station, I think. Or off of the asteroid, actually. Okay, so that's all of that. Now, I think that was at least one steel tube, but I'm not sure how many steel tubes. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of large steel tubes to go back in there with. Uh, let's grab ten. All of this just to go find some gold. Come on. The doorway. <laughs> I want to put some lights up that show the statuses of things so I know that I've gotten oxygen properly accounted for. Of small filters. 
20 small steel tubes and that'll be it. That'll do the, that in. Don't open the door. Cannot afford to lose any oxygen. Ah. Uh, think you know what I'm think while I'm thinking about it when I get back inside let's drain the oxygen out of the interior Come on. I said you depressurize that and now everything should be depressurized. This as well. Um, depressurize on. Okay, so this should be depressurized as well. So all the air has been sucked out. And why I wanted to do that, I want to go ahead right down here. Let's cut a hole in the wall. And then let's put a storage chest or a storage block right there now I'm pretty sure that you that is I think that's airtight I'm not positive we'll find out really quickly and it could cost us, so I'm a little worried about that. Metal grid. Motors, a display, color computers. Motors. Display. Small step two. Okay, so what we're going to do, test this out. Well, that closed. And then we're going to repressurize. Gonna see if this is holding oxygen or not. And that one's now gonna be okay, so let's get this one to repressurize as well. Should be able to go in here. Move that. Depressurize on. I heard meteors hitting. Uh, yes, oxygen levels are holding steady. Good, good, good. All right, now all we gotta do is tie these two together and we'll be happy, happy, happy. So let's do uh, seven. Downward facing seven. It's like some sort of yoga position. There we go. And then we need a sideways facing Class. 
bulletproof glass, small steel tubes, smiters. and construction components. The always and ever useful construction component. All right, so now internally we have access to all of our goodies, which makes me happy, 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 happy. Okay. Now we just about have to wrap up the episode, but we've gotten that's all good. We got power all through. So all we need to finish was the work uh, for the for this thing. Which was a conveyor box. And now that we've cleared the space out for it, we just need tube. One, two. Oop, that light is got to go. And you know what? I'm going to pull this gravity generator. Yep, it's life is over. And then let's go ahead and put a couple more Go. Construction components. Small little tube. And bulletproof glass. Alright, let's finish off this gravity generator. So now we've got gravity on the station. Construction components. Small steel tubes. And what was the other thing? <laughs> oh, this is what I always lack. Motors. This is where I always mess up. Of course I need bulletproof glass. Now it actually will work without all of it, which is kind of funny. But uh, let's go ahead and grab them. So I need 16 bulletproof glass. Everything's all in place. Awesome. And now we should also have, like I said, we have gravity here now. Which makes getting through the world so much easier. Oh yeah. All right, friends. Well, there you have it. The base is coming along. In our next episode, we're going to go out and do a little bit of exploring and mining with our new mining ship. And uh, we'll take it from there. So for now, it's been Rongo the Bowl. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, click that like button, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, your family, and your space grandma. And we'll see you all later. Bye.